Okay. Yo. So cool. Okay. Background music up. Background music up, as always. Perfect. All right. Initiate ready check. Let me eat an egg for good luck. Let's do this. Valknut? Oh, shit! I didn't get out of that in time. That's my bad. Nut, the Valkyrie Nut. So much happening. Uh oh, that doesn't seem good. Amazing sweaties. You're all doing amazing. Oh no! God, I'm so good at this game. I also have really great healers. Just in time, baby. Uh oh. Uh oh. That seems bad. That seems bad. That seems bad. DPS check. Kill him before he does the shin. Oh, we got him, 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 we got him. Come on, come on, come on, come on. G, G, E, Z, first try, baby. Let's go. Let's go.
the sword. Uh huh. Uh huh. What a cool fight that was. What a cool fight. Dark Divinity Felder. Oh, that's freaking sick, dude. That's sick. Your bravery before the Dark Divinity was commendable adventurer. I am relieved you escaped the battle with your life. It was not for nothing, I might add. Brother E. Sumiyan and I have observed something remarkable, though I should like to discuss it with him. Present on See How He Comes. Look at these little kids. Adventure, I would offer you thanks for all you have done today. I am E. Sumiyan, Master of the Conjurer's Guild. Uh, but no doubt you are keen to learn more of the Dark Divinity. Very well, I shall share with you what I have gleaned in observing your battle. To begin, felling a primal allows the ether of their physical manifestation to return to the land. This much you know, yes? Yes. Odin seems to be subject to the self-same laws, yet his sword, the Zantetsuken, remains even after his body vanishes. Thus, we thought to examine the blade, and in so doing, found that its etheric density is unimaginably high. Oh! Now, we had always assumed the being who brandished the weapon was Odin, but what if we erred? What if the sword, Zantetsuken, is in itself the Dark Divinity? An unforeseen conclusion, yes, but one that clarifies much of the primal. Indeed, that would explain why Odin has never truly fallen. No one has thought to destroy the blade. And if, Zan and if Zantetsuken is the primal, could it not conjure itself a new wielder? Yet just as Afrit's tempered or Leviathan's drowned, Odin must needs have his sunder to offer crystals in his name, unless he drinks of the Shroud's ether. Such a weak source of power could be why it takes time for the Dark Divinity to manifest again. You see, adventurer, our theory accounts quite nicely for two of the mysteries that for so long surrounded the Primal. And yes, Pepsi, hence a third mystery remains. If there are no sundered, how does Odin sustain himself? I cannot imagine the wishes of those who first summoned him were so strong as to echo throughout the centuries. Brother, I do not think our theory is flawed. No, this discovery makes clear the holes in what we had for so long believed the primals. We must revisit the, the beings with the keener... Exactly. I feel like a lot of what we're seeing in the patch content is the definition of primal is very much different from what... Or like what primals are differs quite a lot from the definition based on King Mogglemog, Odin, the Phoenix. Like, there's some big... There, it, it's different. It's not what they thought. I will inform Master Yuri Anjay of what we have gleaned here. Adventure, I urge you to do the same should something else of Odin occur to you. But today is a victory all the same. We have the Zanzetsuken and the mysteries that remain pale and, and import to the act of locking the primal away. With any luck, we can seal the sword and end the Dark Divinity's ride. Brothers, something terrible has happened. Oh? The sword is gone. One of my own men has stolen away with the blade and left nary a trace to track his flight. I never dreamt he would do such a thing. I stayed in my hand too long to stop him. He is going to be the new Odin. Are your men so disloyal as to rob you? Tell me, Luan, why would something do someone do such a thing? Because they're tempered. Forgive me, brother, but I cannot say I am as astonished as you. The thief was a sworn man of God's quiver, true as any Gradanian arrow. Moreover, what could he stand to gain by stealing so fell a blade? Mayhap the soul of the thief was stolen along with the blade. Yes, it is within the power of all primals to bend mortals to their wills. If the Zanzetsuki and Odin are one and the same, then the sword may control the now sundered man. Is that not right, brother? That is indeed possible. Gods, could I have been so blind as that? Bo Lord Lewin, it is, it is I who needs to apologize. Had I been more wary, I would have foreseen this. Instead, I have cost us dearly and placed you and your men in great danger. 
Let us not cry over lost swords. Bow Lord Lewin, send forth the gods quiver and wood whalers to scour the shroud. Brother Pepsi and I will devote ourselves to, to devising a way to fell Odin after the Zanzetsuken is ours again. Yes, brother, indeed. It would be a poor thing to have the blade in our grasp and no way to destroy it nor dull its bite. Adventurer, I will call upon you again when we have something to show for our efforts. Until then, go in peace. I like that they give different ways for the primals to be summoned, even if they are a bit different than the norm. Mm. Interesting. Meh, meh.